the incredible adventures of the Hera Mission. Hera, Issa's asteroid detective, will soon blast off on her mission to the small rocky world Demorphus. But first, she must prove she's up to the task by completing a series of rigorous tests at ESTEC, Europe's largest satellite test center, a unique facility that contains every space simulation experiment you could want. These challenges last several months and are designed to recreate conditions during launch and in space. The testing site is kept to a surgical level of cleanliness, avoiding dust and humidity. Engineers are required to wear clean suits at all times. Very stylish. First up, the shaker. Hera will be loaded onto a vibration table and shaken intensely in all directions, reproducing the stresses she'll experience when launched into space. Hera will then be shaken through a range of frequencies to check that nothing oscillates too much. Then it's on to the leaf, perhaps Europe's largest sound system. Hera will be blasted with noise so loud that she'll think she's on the launch pad. The Phoenix will see Hera put inside an airless chamber for up to two weeks. The temperature will be adjusted from freezing cold to boiling hot, while Hera is studied using infrared cameras. To work well, Hera's electronics need to maintain a stable temperature, not too hot or too cold, but just right. You're doing well, Hera. Keep it up. Hera will then be moved around on a special machine to work out her exact center of mass. It's important to know this so she can use her thrusters efficiently in space. Hera's fuel tanks will then be filled with an inert gas to make sure there are no leaks. You might wonder why not use real fuel instead. Well, Hera's fuel is toxic to humans, so the engineers may object. Hera's been through a lot, but there's one hurdle left. Hera will be placed inside a chamber surrounded by metal walls and foam pyramids designed to isolate her from radio sources, as will be the case in space. Hera's subsystems will all be turned on to check that they can work in harmony without causing interference. Congratulations, Hera. You've taken everything those test engineers could throw at you, and then some. We never doubted you for a moment. 